The impeachment trial of suspended Attorney General Ken Paxton is in its third day, and a couple of hours ago, a third witness took the stand. Ryan Vassar, former Deputy Attorney General for Legal Counsel. And joining us right now is our very own Ryan Chandler to really give us a recap of the day so far. Now, you were here at noon, and that's when we were talking about how this morning started with Ryan Banger. That's what the testimony began with, and uh -huh. he's a former Deputy First Assistant Attorney General and one of the whistleblowers who reported Ken Paxton to federal authorities. So can you really break down first mm -hmm. what we heard from him this morning and afternoon? Well, that's right. He was really the third most senior official in the attorney general's office. He had intimate knowledge of what was going on behind the scenes and what he says he saw was a pattern of behavior that was not only unethical, but illegal mm -hmm. relating to a relationship that Paxton had with a campaign donor named Nate Paul. Essentially, Bangert accused the attorney general of using the power of the office not to serve the interests of the people of Texas, but to give special legal favors to his donor in a quid pro quo type of arrangement. Mm, okay, so now we're hearing from Ryan Vassar. How is he involved in this investigation in the trial? Ryan Vassar was also a top official who worked closely with Bangerts and the other witnesses we've seen as well as the attorney general. His testimony was perhaps the most powerful we've seen so mm. far. In fact, he broke down into tears on the witness stand at the suggestion from Paxton himself that he and the other whistleblowers were rogue employees. Mm. He said that that was hurtful to hear his former boss, who he used to admire, say about the people who took complaints to the FBI because he said he got into this job for public service and was dedicated to the state for eight years and now his name is being denigrated by the person who he believes uh, committed ethical and legal violations uh, while he was working for him. Okay, and earlier on you referenced Nate Paul. He's really at the center of a lot of the conversations in this trial. Could we see him take the stand? I've been asking that question okay. all week as well. His name is on the prosecution's witness list. I believe it's unclear whether they could actually compel him to testify, but we believe if he does take the witness stand, we're not going to get a lot of information from him, probably a lot of pleading the fifth, because Nate Paul, like Ken Paxton, is facing outside felony indictments from the federal government that he is answering for now, and Paxton will have to answer for later. So he's going to make sure that he doesn't implicate himself or incriminate himself farther by testifying uh, in this political trial. Okay, Ryan Chandler, we know that you will stay on top of it for us. And of course, we're streaming this live on our website, kxan.com.